failed you, son. Forgive me. Forgive me. I will let you down no longer. Forgive me. Forgive me. What are you doing? <sighs> what are you doing? <sighs> Gion mi mehocha, gabo je am prish gabe mi rish. You're too late. You will not get him. It'll work. It must. It was with great joy that I received your last letter. Know that you are missed terribly here in India. If my calculations are correct and the International Postal Service is kind, this letter will keep you company as you make the final leg of your journey to Scotland. I hesitate to say anything for fear you'll think me foolish, even hysterical. Your father made it his life's work to research his family's twisted history. This and his obsession with the occult combined to unravel his poor mind. John loved his family and his family home, but he hated and mistrusted them in equal measure. So, beware of the Gordons. Blood is not always thicker than water. Your loving mother.
always does when she's worried. Mother will work in the garden all day in my absence. She always does when she's worried. Welcome, Mr. Gordon. I'm Andrew Harrison. Mr. Harrison, it's good to finally meet you. From our correspondence, I expected you to be older. Ah, uh, thank you. I'll lead the way. It's quite dark already. We can continue to talk inside. David, welcome to Skahandu House. Lady Margaret, how kind of you to welcome me in person at such a late hour. An impressive building. Skahandu, though. Unusual. What, what is its meaning? Unusual only if you have not bothered to study Gaelic. It means Black Mirror House. Many generations of the Gordon family have been master of this house. It is a great responsibility. Perhaps the greatest a man could bear. If I may, I would like to know more about my father's last days. <laughs> it is too late in the day for such morbid talk. You do look so very much like John, though. Angus, please show Master David to his room. Yes, ma'am. I trust you had a pleasant journey. This place is rather remote, even for Scotland. It was most pleasing, thank you. I was fortunate enough to stop off in several fascinating places on my way here. How long have you been practicing law? I came to the bar a few years ago. I'm at Chambers in Edinburgh with lawyers who have served the Gordon family for generations. I'm embarrassed to ask, but it is my job. Have you proof of who you say you are? You are David Gordon, son of the late John Gordon. Please, I quite understand. Here you are. <laughs> hmm. <sighs> what a curious object. Isn't it? It belonged to my father. He posted it to me shortly before his death. I'm not at all sure what it is. Perhaps it's something else returning home where it belongs. 
like its new owner. Have a good night, Master David. I shall continue my studies. Uh, please follow me, Master David. Note about a library, a key, and, and some sort of bro. Your grandfather, his lordship, Edward Gordon. There is no denying it. We are family. Pieces of some kind of drawing. How odd. These are all family members? Yes, sir. The Gordons are one of the oldest families in Scotland. Any time you're ready, sir. Uh, this way, sir. I suppose it's hard to keep things dry, what with all the rain you get here. A most amusing, Master David. We do our best, sir. None of us are as young as we used to be. If you would be so kind as to Magnificent. follow me, sir. That is the Master's study, sir, but there'll be plenty of time to examine it in the light tomorrow. It does that sometimes, sir. Lady Gordon expects you for breakfast at eight, sir. Thank you. Lady Gordon called you Angus? Uh, pleased to meet you, Angus. Yes, sir. She did. I am Mr. McKinnon. Uh, Mr. McKinnon. Yes. Um, I'd advise you not to leave the room tonight. Ticking clocks are not the worst thing you may encounter in the house at night, if you don't know your way around. Sleep well, sir. Maybe he's more of a morning person. I 
I doubt this place could ever be properly warm. I got somewhat turned around following Angus through the house. Sorry, Mr. McKinnon. But I think my room is probably around here somewhere. Hold on. This looks like... Wait a moment. This is a piece of a model. Everything I ever owned could fit in there, five times over. Glad I don't have to carry you around anymore. Mr. McKinnon lifted you up with ease. Without some obscure local law that required me being here in person, I would probably never have come. <laughs> A pigeon amongst the cats. Sorry to inform you of death of John Gordon. Stop. Please return to Skahundu House. Stop. Andrew Harrison, lawyer. Stop. This handsome, cheery, sober man. He's not the one I remember from my childhood. In an old house like this one, sooner or later no drawer stays empty. More pieces of the same drawing. Maybe I can make out what it shows if I had enough of them. The candle is nearly gone, but it should do for a while once lit. The candle is nearly gone, but it should do for a while once lit. I should get a new passport. This one's filling up. I'm going to need a light to find my way about out there. My faithful friend Insomnia. I wonder if Andrew has left the library yet. Oh, I can barely see my hand in front of me. Everything I ever owned could fit in there, five times over.
The candle is nearly gone, but it should... Hmm, not many matches left. A parting gift from Mother. To light my way in the darkness, she said. Just what I need. We meet again, old foe. A dumb waiter, big enough to fit your own weight and food into. Somebody still cares. Maybe you weren't as bad as Mother believed. Grandfather Edward. Father never spoke of you. But Mother never had a kind word to say. You were the worst of the lot, she said.
father must have left something for me in the master's study. I suppose I could ask Mr. McKinnon to open it for me in the morning, but I'll have him breathing down my neck. And who knows what I'm to find. Barging into someone's bedroom in the middle of the night is not how to earn their trust. No, this isn't right. There should be a room here. Did you say something? Uh, it's nothing. Research can be a frustrating business. Selected Poems by Edgar Allan Poe Take this kiss upon the brow, and in parting from you now, thus much let me avow. You are not wrong who deem that my days have been a dream. Yet, if hope has flown away, in a night or in a day, in a vision or in none, is it therefore the less gone? All that we see or seem is but a dream within a dream. A dream within a dream. Is this what father meant by a family of snakes? Wouldn't it be more comfortable working here? Uh, that's Lady Gordon's private desk. It would be improper for me to use it. Ghosts, legends, ancient history. Where's the rest of them? If you don't mind, I have a system and don't want to mix things up. Lady Gordon is 
very keen on confidentiality. Of course. Hiding something, are we? That looks... daunting. Daunting, but rewarding and fascinating. Fascinating? Yes, indeed. The history of the Gordon family goes back a long way. So it's true we are one of the oldest families in Scotland? Oh, much more than that. The Gordons have owned this land back into antiquity, before records were even kept. Add to that some unique and unusual local laws. Well, it can be a challenge, but a welcome one. Did you know my father? I was called to the house shortly after your father arrived. Why did that need a lawyer? Those complex local laws I spoke of were to blame. Your father left when Edward died, so none of the required legal formalities to transfer the house were observed. Does that mean...? Not at all. There will be no issue with transferring the estate to your name, if that is what you wish. Uh, have you had a chance to examine my papers? I have, and am delighted to say that everything is in order. I would not be doing my job if I didn't warn you that with Edward dead and your father absent, the family fortune has somewhat diminished over the years. However, the real treasure is the castle and the grounds themselves. I haven't spent as much time as I'd like here, but it is a unique place. I noticed that the door to the master's study is locked. Might I get a key for it? Of course. I will see to it that you are supplied with one, if there is one available. No door should be locked to the soon-to-be owner, after all. Well, it's been a long day. I bid you good night. I'll get myself something to read and then head to bed too. Good night. The Castle of Otranto by Horace Walpole. I started reading this, though never got round to finishing it. The gentle maid whose hapless tale these melancholy pages speak. Say, gracious lady, shall she fail to draw the tear adown from thy cheek? Hmm.
Despair, by a man called Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Ghastly shades of bygone gladness, clawing fiends of future sadness, mingle in a cloud of madness ever on the soul to lie. Thus the living, lone and sobbing, in the throes of anguish throbbing, with the loathsome furies robbing night and noon of peace and rest. But beyond the groans and grating of abhorrent life is waiting sweet oblivion, culminating all the years of fruitless quest. The words of a troubled soul. Oh, locked. Father must have left something for me in the master's study. Lady Margaret and Edward, how young they look. But who are the others? You really know very little about your own family, David. Peculiar place to spend the night. I best not wake her. An impressive collection. Grandmother's obviously a music lover. Than later. Lady Margaret and Edward, <laughs> how
would tear up photographs, given the painstaking process surrounding their creation? It's too dark outside to speculate about the size of the estate. Somewhere out there they found father, or rather what was left of him. What a cruel way to take your own life. On the morrow, I will explore the grounds, as soon as the sun is up. Just how old is the Gordon clan? For all I know, it could stretch back to Roman times or even further. An earring. I doubt it was buried in the ashes on purpose. Someone must have lost it. The cold doesn't seem to affect the residents of this house. All the fires are fighting a losing battle against the draft. I'm no expert on fashion, but this looks like a rather old-fashioned design. I used to regale my Indian school friends with tales of knights in shining armor. Locked. Exquisite craftsmanship. I doubt our family could afford a marvel such as this nowadays. I can see the family resemblance. This one died very young. Hmm. And this one. None of them seem to have made it past middle age.
<clears throat> you are? I'm the one who keeps the house from being covered in weeds. Name's Rory. Pleased to meet you. Uh, I'm David Gordon. Aye. I kenned you were coming today. Why are you sitting in the dark? There's enough light for me, laddie. Oh, your eyes. I'm sorry. I didn't realise. I see more than most do, son. How long have you worked for the Gordons? Always been a gardener. And I do some fishing. The lock's up on the place. Calms the nerves. Did you know my father? I did. Aye. Shameful what they did to him. What do you mean? Who is they? Hmm. Oh, leave you to your supper then. Being a Gordon can be a curse, laddie. Your father ken the hard way. Mind you dinner follow in his footsteps. Blood. Not human, I presume. This might come in handy. Better safe than sorry. Rory just disappeared into the darkness. The cellar can wait till tomorrow.
sturdy, but old. <laughs> A bit like Rory. Every thief's best friend. <laughs> I know a few Fakir's tricks I can use this for. Shame. Attics often speak volumes about the owners of a house. Father must have left something for me in the master's study. The lock is too heavy, too old for this to work. Hmm, this might take a while. I need to be steady and try to... Oh! Oh, well, there you go. That's not the right combination. Father knew how to open the cabinet. This will help. Dear Lady Gordon, I write to you with the utmost urgency. I'm seeking information about my patient, your son, John Gordon. 
During our conversations, he makes allusions to his relationship with his father, but will not expand when pressed. You have failed to respond to my previous request, so I'm writing again to insist in the strongest terms possible that you furnish me with the required answers. Your son's recovery depends on it. Yours faithfully, Dr. Leah Farber, Bethlehem Hospital, London. What secrets about my father is Lady Margaret concealing? Oh, locked. Father knew how to open the cabinet. This will help. <laughs> 